Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18. Now, I haven't been this excited for an Apple operating system in quite some time. Now, the last time we heard so much early on for Apple's operating system before its official release was when Apple was making a major change, and that was with iOS 6 to iOS 7. Now that sort of trend is happening once again with iOS 18. Now iOS 18, the first beta is at least six months away and we're already hearing a lot of rumors, a lot of new features and things that are happening within the operating system. And again, the last time I was so excited to hear a lot of this information early on was when Apple made a major redesign, a major change from iOS 6 to iOS 7. And hopefully that's going to be the case. So I have some exciting news to share with you guys in regards to iOS 18, some of the latest updates Dates, maybe device support, the first beta release date, and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is side loading. Now, for those of you that don't know, side loading basically allows you to install apps from anywhere on the internet or from any third-party app store on the iPhone. Basically, what we've been doing on Macs for years, what Android users have been doing for years as well. So you'll be able to install apps on your iPhone using side loading. Now we don't have to wait to iOS 18 for this one. This one could happen as early as iOS iOS 17.3 January 2024. Now right now it is December 2023 so in the next couple of weeks maybe the next month or so we may see the first beta for iOS 17.3 with side loading integrated where developers will be able to test this feature and I know a lot of you guys are asking will Apple make this a region or location based feature and uh, my answer to that is honestly I don't know but I think Apple will make this a region based service or feature on the iPhone so if you live in a region where side loading is required Apple would enable the feature on the operating system and you'll be able to use it of course in the EU this will be a requirement within a couple of months from now so Apple will most likely start testing side loading on the iPhone in the next month and a half or so so mid January we may see the first beta for 17.3 after the release of iOS 17.2 in December of 2023 in order to start testing this feature on the iPhone and again Apple Apple could release this for everyone, but I'm thinking they may lock this down to a specific region where it is required. We'll have to wait and see, of course. But side loading again will allow you to install apps on your iPhone from anywhere on the internet, just like you can on a Mac or an Android device or from any third party app store. And this is something that's coming with iOS 17.3 or 17.4 early 2024. Okay, so with all that being said, like I mentioned, iOS 18, when can we see the first beta? What's going to be the device support? There's been just so much information available early on that I'm so excited for this one now the first beta usually happens at wwdc that's usually june so june 2024 we'll see ios 18 at beta 1 this has happened for the last couple of years for ios uh, ios 14 15 16 of course ios 17 and 18 always happens in june so june 2024 beta 1 ios 18 that's basically almost set in stone at this point now that is going to be the first beta however device support a lot of you guys continue to ask now my personal opinion based on my experience I believe Apple will support from iPhone 11 or newer. So if you have an iPhone 11 or newer, I believe iOS 18 will be coming to your device. Now, this is not mentioned by Apple at all. This is just based on my personal opinion and speculations. But iOS 18 is set to have major new features and redesigns, and it's going to be power hungry. So I think iPhone 11 or newer will be the cutoff for iPhones in terms of support for iOS 18. Apple is set to be working on major AI features coming to the iPhone. As of right now, we already have some major AI implementation to iOS, believe it or not. For example, if we go on this iPhone running iOS 17.2, if we go under accessibilities, we have personal voice, which uses, of course, AI to create a voice that's basically identical to you. It just takes a few prompts and a few minutes, and your iPhone can sound exactly like you. That's directly using AI. So Apple is already adding AI to the iPhone slowly, but with iOS 18, it is rumored that Apple will be pushing AI to another level, integrating AI within search, perhaps music, of course, Siri and things like that. So yeah, a lot of major AI improvements said to be coming. So that's the reason I believe iPhone 11 or newer will be supported by iOS 18. Now, next I want to talk about RCS because out of nowhere, Apple confirms that RCS will be coming to the messages application on the iPhone as of next year. And iMessage will still be the predominant messaging services. Of course, it's going to be the primary messaging services from iPhone to iPhone, but RCS support will be integrated within the messages application application, which is exciting news. You'll be able to send high quality videos and pictures and images to Android devices. You'll get a richer communication 
notification service, right? You have inline replies, reactions, and all these things that we see with iMessage will be better integrated with Android devices when RCS gets added to the messages application on the iPhone. But again, this will not be replacing iMessage. For those of you that are still confused about it, this is going to be working alongside iMessage. So we'll still see the blue bubbles from iPhone to iPhone and the best features will most likely will still remain within iMessage, but you'll have a better and richer communication service with RCS when you message an Android device on an iPhone starting iOS 18, which is of course good news for Android and iPhone users. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about what's gotten me so excited about iOS 18, and that is the fact that Mark Gurman mentions that iOS 18 will have new features and designs. Now, in regards to new features, could we be looking at maybe new things and ways to interact with the operating system? So for example, if I swipe from the bottom right, will I get an app drawer just like this? Would I get split screen multitasking just like that? Could I open multiple applications and send the UI away with different elements within the operating system? Perhaps will we get a new control center? A lot of users want a new control center. Or could we just be getting a new UI altogether? So for example, example, if I go here just by flipping this switch on, I get new icons on my home screen. So new features and designs. So hopefully we'll see a lot of the things that users have been asking for, but these are just simple examples on how Apple can integrate different things within the operating system. Just like so, as you can see right there, we have split screen multitasking. It works great here on this iPhone. As you can see right there, I have the ability to launch multiple applications at once. It looks smooth. It looks nice. It just works on the iPhone, as you can see right there. And hopefully we'll see a lot of this new stuff happening with iOS 18. Of course, this device is running a jailbreak so I can customize it and hopefully Apple will allow customization and new designs coming to iOS 18 that will give it an entirely new redesign. And hopefully we'll see the same that we saw back in the day from iOS 6 to iOS 7 where we saw an entire refresh. I know a lot of you guys just want a refresh. The iPhone has looked the same basically for so many years now and hopefully I believe iOS 18 will be that major change with new AI integration, more powerful AI. We have RCS support. We'll have new features, an entirely new redesign operating system. It's going to be big. iOS 18 again, we'll most likely see the first beta June 2024, about six months after the filming of this video. Let me know what you're most excited about. And if there's something you would like to see Apple add to the operating system that Apple has yet to add, let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.